each ticket, right? These, these say each. So that indicates that per ticket, right, I'm paying how much? 16. Well, I'm paying 15, right? But it's 16. And then plus 150. Okay? So we want to keep that in mind. So what about the second sentence? Somebody read the second sentence for me. And I'll say per ticket. The ticket paper in order of anyone is for those sellers. Okay, sorry, what were you saying? The shipping fee for the order of any number of tickets is four dollars. Okay, so the shipping fee for any order, any number of tickets is four dollars. What information have they told us there? Is this a per ticket cost or a order cost? Any number of tickets. Any number of tickets, right? It's for our order. It's for the whole order, we're gonna pay what? An additional four dollars for the whole order. Questions about that? All right, now what are our unknowns in this problem? What things do we not know here? What the first name is? We don't know the number of tickets, which is what? C. No, T, right? So T is the, T is the number of tickets. And how can, can somebody tell me, how do I know that it's T? It says it, right? And after any number of tickets, is that comma that indicates that this is referring to T. Okay, so I want to make sure you guys are picking up on that, because here you don't have to come up with the variables yourself, right? They're giving them to you, so you don't want to miss out on a hint like that, right? Where they're giving you the information. We need to make sure we're picking that out. So what's another variable? Can anybody see the other variable? C. And what does C represent? The cost. Right? It says the cost, comma, C, right? Telling us that C is what they just described. So C is the cost. Now, what do they want us to do? Well, they want us to determine, right, an equation that represents the situation, the cost of the tickets, right, for any number of um, tickets. Bless you. So I'm going to do this in a different way so it stands out a little more. So we have C the cost, we have T the tickets, and then we have this information about the tickets. So we said that this was per ticket cost, right, which we said was $16.50 in total. So $16.50 times what gives me the cost of the tickets? T. Right? Now, what else, what other cost do I have with this order? Plus four. Six. Plus four, right? No. And that's going to give me, when I add it together, what would that give me? It would give me my total cost, which is C. Do we see that? Questions? No. Make sure that on the, the hardest part about this question that I saw you guys get wrong was that some of you guys added these two and the four together, or some of you guys added the 150 and the four, right? And the reason that you did that was because you didn't read that these, the 15 and the 150 were per cost and that this was for the whole order. So make sure you distinguish those, um, those charges. Whenever you have these problems, a lot of times they're gonna give you different numbers and you have to know which numbers apply to We're getting close to the end of the year. If you guys see right here, today we're studying, uh, we're starting studying expo the study of exponents which is our second to last unit. Oh, no. uh, so we're nearing the end. This unit is only three classes, so we're going to keep it nice and short, meaning that next week, midweek, you'll have your quiz on this, and we'll really be attested to be really short. Okay, questions about this? All right. And this unit is going to be fundamental to that, to our, um, sorry. Yeah, the, the, actually this is our second to last. So the second to last unit, which is quadratic equation, um, is going to be based off of what we learned here. Okay? Yes, sir. Huh? Only two units left. So we're almost done. Alright, so, so the first thing that I want you to go over is what is an exponent, what does it mean? So we have this example right here where we have 2x squared. And what does that actually mean? Well, right here, this number 2 is the coefficient, and we've seen that vocabulary before, right? It's just the number that is being multiplied, right, times the variable. Then we have, over here, we have our x. And this is, in this case, this is the number that is being multiplied, sorry, that is being described by the x -row. And this whole thing together is our base. The 2 times the x is the base of this um, of this expression. We have the power. The power is 2x squared. And right here, you can see in words, an exponent tells how many times a number, um, the base is used as a factor. A power has two parts, which is the base and the exponent. So this base and the x 
as bonus. Okay? So make sure you draw this in your notebook. I'm going to make this slightly smaller so you can see everything here. And write down the definition. So the exponent tells us how many what we have, how many twos or how many x's we have, or how many two x's. What's well, telling us how, it's referring right here, that x, that square is referring to the x, right? So it's telling us that we have two x's. So if I wrote this in expanded notation, and I'll just write it over here, what does this mean? It means two times x times x, okay? So this is that we have two x's.